Hi, it's Hopke, and welcome to this screencast looking at Pano 2 VR 6.1 Beta 3 and its stereo image support. Now, before I start, a big shout out to Thomas Sharpless for allowing us to use his stereo images. Okay, so I'm going to open up Pano 2 VR. Here we go. And I'm going to close the welcome screen. And to add a stereo image, I've got two types here. I've got the um, echo rectangular um, one on top of the others. This is a left over right. We can drag it into the viewer, or if you've got Pro, drag it into the tour browser, or use the open input button. Here we go. As soon as the image is loaded, you'll see that Pano 2 VR has detected it's a stereo pair. Now this happens to be a left over right image, so we're seeing the right hand side in the viewer. Um, had this have been a, a right over left, you would just select the radio button, and again, you would see the right hand side in the viewer. Okay, so that's just a, uh, that's the echo rectangular. Here is a, a VR strip. If I drag that in, you'll see that adds it to Pano 2 VR. This time around, it still detects it as a st stereo pair because it's got 12 cube faces, but we've actually it's detected it as being just a strip. So the cube faces are out of alignment. What we need to do is tell it that it's a strip VR, and as soon as we do that, it will then sort the cube faces out. There you go. Right. Okay, so that's importing our images. I do actually want to remove this image and bring in a, another uh, echo rectangular stereo. There we go. Now, while I'm bringing in images, I just want to quickly say that um, Pano 2 VR, you can mix the input images in one project. So we've got two stereos here. We could have had a strip. Um, I can also bring in a normal echo rectangular. Uh, I can bring in flat images. We can link it all together and then create an output. Um, basically, when you're viewing on the internet and on your computer with a browser, you won't notice any difference. You'll click the hotspots, go from node to node. Obviously, it's only when you're wearing a headset that when you go to a stereo um, node that you get the stereo effect. Okay, so that's basically the um, adding the images to Pano 2 VR. What I want to do now is link them together. So I'd like to create a little virtual tour. So again, you would do this like any other tour in Pano 2 VR. So you move the image to where you want the hotspot, drag and drop the node that you want to link to out the tour browser, let go, it adds the hotspot. On the Mac, it's command click, it's control, uh, control click on the PC to open up the target window. Whiz it around to the view that you want when you arrive, and then it's alt click on the PC, option click on the Mac, to change location. I'll just create another hotspot to come back. There we go, change the target to about there, that'll do, click OK and come back. All right, so that's my hotspots added. Now I'm just gonna add an HTML5 output. So let's do that. I'm gonna add a silhouette skin as well and we're gonna publish. Now before, I, uh, be, before it lets me publish, because I didn't save the project, it's asking me to save now, so I'm just going to click save and away we go. Okay, so that's opened. You can see the skin, you can see the hotspots now between the two nodes. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's all good. What I want to do now is just prove a point that these are, we are actually seeing a stereo node. Um, if I go to the develop menu in Safari, I'm going to change the user agent to iPhone. And what will this do, or, or what this will do, is show the VR headset button. Um, so you see this on um, mobile phones and VR headsets. And when we click this, we'll enter the web VR cardboard mode. Here we go. And if I whiz round to that lady holding the phone, what you'll see is this chat behind her. And you'll see lined up very much with the phone. Because of the perspective shift of stereo, you'll see that he's now moved. So there's a good indication that this is a stereo image. Okay, so let's come out of this. Um, yeah, and basically, whilst we're looking at hotspots, I want to show you a new feature that we've got into uh, Beta 3, or we got in Beta 3. And that's, if I select the hotspot, the properties panel changes to point hotspot uh, properties, and we can add a custom image to this hotspot. Now in web VR mode, um, basically we have this rotating globe of the, of, of the next location. But what this allows you to do is add a custom hotspot image. Here we go, so I can do that. We've now got our custom hotspot image. 
Now we need to add this for each hotspot, but what it also allows you to do is, obviously I can change the size of the image, and I can also add 3D distortion, and this pins the image to the panorama. Um, and then we can set the field of view to make it smaller or larger. Okay, right, okay, so that's what that's doing. And this is what it looks like in the Oculus Go. You can see when I move the wand over the hotspot, you can see the custom image. We also have another little trick with hotspots, and that's um, we have our distance field. Here we go. So we've got set to auto, which is using GPS. Um, but we got we've, we've got a distance between uh, one and five meters. Well, it's actually one and uh, one meter and however long you want. But basically, at one meter, the hotspot will become much larger. Um, and at five meters and beyond, you get a normal size hotspot. And yeah, so this is what it's going to look like in the go. So as you can see, when I hover over, we've got that one that's really close and that one that's further away. There you go, so that's the distance with the two hotspots. Right, I have one other thing I want to show you, and that's um, what we're going to do with our patch editor. So I'm changing to patch viewer mode, all right? And what I want to talk about is this lady with the bag. If you look, her hand is actually a little bit of a distance from the strap, all right? In the left hand panel, the hand is closer to the strap. Okay, so what I want to do is match that because when you're looking at the stereo image, that lady's hand looks really fuzzy. So what I'm going to do is, whilst in patch viewer mode, double click, we're going to add the patch, all right, and then I'm going to extract it. When I extract it, because I've got a PSB, it's going to open up Photoshop for me. And when we zoom in, you'll see what I'm talking about here you can see her hand is further away from the strap in this picture than this picture now the thing to remember is that the left hand image is actually the patch extracted from the right hand side of the stereo all right so um, so to fix this then what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm in the uh, clone stamp tool all right and I'm going to zoom into a part of the panorama that is the same in both halves and I think it's going to be this button in this lady's skirt so I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select that as my start point for the patch all right and I'm going to come over to this side and I'm going to match that buttonhole where it is about there and now I can clone the arm to match the other side so this is the right side now getting matched with the left here we go all right so that's done so that's now fixed the right hand um, image okay so what I'm going to do now is save and close um, and that will update you saw that just then and this will look much much better in this stereo uh, when you're viewing in stereo of course you can patch the floor as normal of course when you extract it you'll have two patches or the two images side by side so you'll just add your patch to both of those but yeah that's how to patch in stereo and how to correct some of the mistakes that you may get in stereo pairs all right that just about sums up everything i want to say for this video and as always thanks for watching